welcome to today's video where I am going to tell you how to survive revision time because we are in the midst of revision time right now and if you're like me you're feeling pretty stressed and scared for the impending doom that is exams but I will just give you some tips on how to make yourself feel less like that and feel more relaxed and to have a good state of mental health because I know that's very important um, when you're very stressed in revision time. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down there. It will be completely free and it just updates you when I upload a brand new video. And yes, without further ado, let's just get right on with the video. So the first tip that I have is to stop procrastinating. I feel that procrastination is the death of progress and it's just so damaging during revision time because you think that you've done like six hours of revision when really you've literally done like one hour and five hours of looking on your phone. <laughs> so the first way that I feel like you can stop procrastinating is through turning your phone off or putting your phone in another room or giving it to your parent or your sibling. Just kind of put it away from you so you don't get distracted by it because I know this happens to me when I get a YouTube comment notification or I get a text message. I go on my phone and then I just I continue going on my phone for like half an hour and this happens multiple times every revision period so it's not very successful. So I feel that it would be really helpful if you kind of move your phone away from you. Um, and another tip that I have which I find so successful is to go to a library or just more generally maybe a public space. So libraries for me are probably my favourite because everyone else there is your age um, if you're in their little revision bit and they're all revising kind of the same sort of material as you. I also find going to the library successful because it's kind of your study space and then your home is your non-study space and your relaxation space and I think kind of separating those two out is really really good because it allows you to really de-stress and not think about work when you're in your relaxation space. And then I personally also like going to Starbucks because I like working with a little bit of background noise um, so I would say Starbucks is really good, just kind of a coffee shop really if you don't like um, the library, just somewhere that isn't your house because I know in your house you're like, oh I'll get a snack, I'll get a drink, and then you just kind of never do any work. So go to a place that is not your house to avoid procrastination. And then my next tip is, once you're not revising, to do something that you really do enjoy. So for me that is making YouTube videos, or editing one, or uploading, or kind of going for a run, or playing my guitar, just activities I really enjoy doing and so whilst I'm revising I sometimes think oh in like half an hour time I get to do what I really want to do rather than revision and it kind of motivates me that way because I know that if I'm not productive in that hour or two hour revision period before my activities which are the fun activities I won't find them as fun because I know that I've kind of cheated my way to them. And then my next tip, which might sound kind of funny, is to do some kind of like mindfulness exercises. So whether it's reading or doing yoga or meditating or like kind of app based things on your phone, those kind of things really de-stress you and kind of centralise your mind to something that's not kind of revision based. So for example, when I go back to university, I'm going to start doing yoga again because I love doing yoga, it's so fun, um, but here I have this book which you might not be able to see because it's white, um, but it's just called Reason to Stay Alive by Matt Haig and I saw this book after Will Derbyshire's video and I bought it and it's so good. It's such a good distraction from revision and it just makes me feel very kind of happy in myself. And then there's an app that I found on the app store yesterday, I'm not sponsored, don't worry, um, they haven't asked me to say this. Um, which I haven't actually used that, but it's called Headspace and it's kind of like a mindfulness meditation app thing. I think it aims to really de-stress you and to make you feel like happy in your life, which I guess is what everyone wants to be. But yeah, if you type in something like meditation into the app store, I'm pretty sure there will be lots and lots of apps and you can do yoga online and YouTube videos will do yoga and there's just so many online resources for you to do uh, fun stuff when you're not revising. And then my final tip, because 
I don't want to make this video too long as to have an end goal in sight which really motivates you whilst you're doing your revision. So mine would be for example getting really good grades so I can eventually get the job that I want. But yours might be so my parents are proud of me or so I can get the football that I want or any gift, I don't know, like just find kind of a goal or an aim um, which you have to work towards because then you realise if you don't work now you're not going to get what you want in the future and that's a really good motivational tool to use to really make yourself want to work because I know in the midst of revision you're like why am I even doing this so when you look to your end goal you're like that's why I'm doing this and then you continue so yes I hope those tips were helpful sorry they were kind of a bit muddled I don't have a script or anything so I was just kind of like blah blurring to you so <laughs> hope you enjoyed it if you would like any more study kind of videos please tell me in the comment bar below and i will definitely do them and yes thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time guys bye i love you